So, um, when we want to react bromine with this, now instead of uh, eth uh, ethene, we have this. So, when we want to react bromine with this, we might first remember the structure of ben the con con conventional structure of benzene, which was this, this, and this, so three double bonds. We might remember this and we might think, oh, this has double bonds as well. So let's, uh, let's do an electrophilic addition mechanism and let's make So let's make this molecule because there are there are three double bonds. We can attach two bromine atoms for to each bond, and we have we can do an electrophilic addition mechanism, and we can make this. But the thing is, this is absolutely wrong. So this is absolutely wrong because, as I said, benzene is unreactive because this is the conventional structure of benzene. What we the actual structure is, it is this, and it is because the pi electrons, the delocalized pi electron cloud, it spreads over the entire ring. It spreads evenly over the entire benzene ring, and because it spreads evenly over the entire benzene ring, benzene is very stable, and because it is very stable, it is very unreactive, and therefore. Benzene does not undergo electrophilic addition reactions. Please do not do, do this. They ask you, they, they often ask you the question, why does benzene not, not undergo electrophilic addition reactions even though it is unsaturated like ethene? So your answer will be that benzene has a, uh, in benzene, the delocalized pi electron cloud spreads over the entire ring. Making, uh, making the molecule very stable because it reduces the negative charge density over the entire molecule and hence the and hence benzene is very unreactive and therefore it will not undergo electrophilic addition mechanisms so when we want to add something over here like bromine for example we will use electrophilic substitution which is replacing the hydrogen instead of adding something alongside it so electrophilic substitution now let's see how this mechanism mechanism looks like uh, I'll make the benzene ring again but this time somewhere on the left because I want to make sure that I cover the entire mechanism in one line so if I want to attach a bromine on this, I will need a Br plus ion. So if I have a Br plus ion, then our first step is the movement of electron pairs from the benzene ring to the Br plus ion. Because as I said, this curly arrow shows the direction of movement of electron pairs. So there is a movement of electron pairs between from benzene to Br plus then we have our second step so we have our second step over here in which we have this benzene molecule but this time it's an intermediate it's not a, it's not a molecule it's an ion and i'll show you how so my, i what i just did that i made an attack to br plus from over here so this br plus gets attached over here and uh, we have br over here we have h also attached because right now i've not substituted anything i've just done I, i've added something and my circle which I used to make completely now looks now looks incomplete so there is a break in the circle and there is a positive charge over here because I've added a positive ion to this molecule so there's a positive charge over here 
and since there's a positive charge over here this is no longer stable because if you can